sometimes actually something like these cases there'll be a strap that can go over like an elastic strap and it sits on each side so the elastic strap was just putting a lot of pressure on the sides and I just felt like it was you know I never took it off without pressing the button all the way down so uh, I decided to cut them one got loose so I just cut them out and then after that I replaced that Joy-Con um, it didn't happen again I haven't had it happen to me again except for the one that was on the only other one that was on my original console so um, that's the only time I've ever had it happen to me was when that was there so I don't know if it caused it but just maybe a caution so I actually like to carry my Joy-Con grips with me everywhere I go they're really handy to carry especially if you want to play with someone
uh, power brick. The Nintendo Switch has officially licensed. They have two kinds. One's larger and one's a little bit smaller. I don't remember the exact number codes, but I'll leave it in the description. Um, but this is the uh, Anchor um, power brick, and Nintendo actually officially licensed it, so it's not going to break your Switch or anything. It's safe to use. The power output is safe to charge your Switch. Uh, without breaking it or anything and this is really really handy I, I actually used it a lot um, it's really easy you just uh, it comes with a cord that's safe to use and so you can actually even charge other things with it but you just do USB-C to USB-C and it'll work out really good the way that I like to do it is uh, if I'm playing tabletop um, and I can't charge it at the same time because the plugs at the bottom I'll use this plug everything in. Yeah, see it's charging now. And you just leave it like that. So it is charging. And it actually charges really quickly. So now I can play in tabletop mode, have it charge at the same time. So that's a really handy thing to bring with you. Um, if you're going to be at school all day or if you take, um, you commute to school, it's a really good thing to, to bring with you. Another thing that can be really handy to bring with you um, when you're going to school and stuff um, is a controller if you're gonna play in tabletop at lunch or something or if you got spare time or you have a spare um, or you know just between classes or something or after school is to bring um, now I know some of you might see the grip and be like ew the grip but the grip is really really handy um, when you are playing tabletop mode because you know, on the go, it's really, really easy to use and it's compact to keep um, in a bag or a backpack or something like that. If you don't like this and you have the space, then um, the Pro Controller is always a good way to go. You can get a, a lot of um, good game time, especially if you're going to do it for a while. I've never needed to use my Pro Controller in tabletop mode. I usually would just bring that with me, but you know, everyone has preferences. You can even bring a GameCube controller if you're playing um, Smash. If you're going to challenge your friends to some Smash, you can always bring a GameCube controller with you. That's a nice sound. So, you can always do that. And uh, it'll work uh, really well. This is um, the Power A Nintendo Switch. Um, GameCube controller, and I got it. Um, it comes in a few different colors. I have other colors, but this is just the one I had closest to me right now. Um, and it works really well. It's Bluetooth, so there's no wires. You just tabletop play if that's your choice. You know, it's good to bring for, with you for, to play Smash. It's not a necessity, though. It's just kind of like you could bring all of them, or you could bring one of them. It's kind of like your choice on how you decide to do your gaming. You could use this. This is the um, Nintendo licensed um, car charger. I don't know why I lost my train of thought. Car charger. Um, so it shouldn't break your switch or anything. It does the right power output. I have yet to use this one just because I'm usually driving when I'm in the car. Um, I haven't been on any long road trips recently. Um, BDB makes this. Um, they actually make a lot of stuff with Nintendo. Um, and it's supposed to be really great and again you could use this holding it in the car um, and things like that if you if you have a long commute in the car um, and you're not the driver or something like that this could be a really great uh, thing like carpooling to work or carpooling to school or something I don't know the last thing that I want to talk about which kind of ties in the whole back to school aspect of this video is a really really cool um, accessory that I actually have to change my setup to show you because it's a little bit bigger. So just give me a second. So this is the PDB Nintendo Switch officially licensed backpack. Um, it's not super cheap. Um, I think I got it for like, I think it was 60 bucks. It's not that bad, but it is a really, really great backpack. I was actually like pleasantly surprised. Sorry, you're gonna hear my floor a little bit. My floor creaks. I apologize. Uh, it's a really great backpack. There's a lot of room in this backpack to carry everything I showed you in the video and more. First thing I want to show you guys is actually the insert. 
side.
kind of like, again, took like a black thing and it made it kind of this gray. Um, and these were white. I did the same thing. I just, it's kind of like I made it my own. And then on the inside, there is a Nintendo Switch, like engraved kind of stitching uh, of the logo for the Nintendo Switch. This was all white, so I just, again, took a black thing just to try and make it less obvious, kind of more stealth looking. Um, just because I, I just don't like when people know that's what I have. This is always on my back, so no one sees it. This is under my arm, so it's okay, but that's just some modifications I've done to my backpack. You, of course, can just leave it. It's just my opinion for where I live. I just don't like having that kind of stuff out and drawing attention to myself. So that's it. Um, it's really, really amazing. Um, how much fits in this backpack and I definitely recommend if you travel a lot with your Nintendo Switch and you know you have to carry a lot of stuff and you know you just wish you could have it to fit more things if you're like me and you want to bring your pro controller and you want to challenge someone to smash you can bring your GameCube controller um, then you can bring that stuff with you everything in this video would easily fit in here with room for small binders and a laptop whatever else it is you want to bring with you. So I really, really like this backpack and I highly recommend it. Honestly, it's, I, I love using it. Again, I'm not, I'm not sponsored. I just, I love this stuff. I just love the Nintendo Switch and I love its accessories and yeah, there's that. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it made you relax and feel calm during the work week. Whether you're back to school, or back to work, or maybe you're just not going anywhere and you just wanted to relax to some Nintendo Switch content, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it made you feel better. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. My schedule is every Monday, 